Shout out to Brown, Aaron Smith Jr. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, this is Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla out of Baltimore, the three-division world champion, the hottest young fighter in the game from 140 and down, and hotter than some fighters at 140 and up. Then we have Shakur Stevenson, the silver medalist, the two-division world champion, and the current WBO super featherweight world champion that's about to take on Oscar Valdez April 30th in the unification bout. But Tank want to let Shakur Stevenson know, I hear all the talk. I'm watching all the videos. I respect you. You respect me. Right? I look at you like a little brother. I sparred you. Right? I know you. And I know you got nothing but tremendous respect for me. But once we share that square circle with one another, this power going to knock your ass out, Shakur. You feel me? Tank wanna let Shakur know, ain't shit sweet this way. You know that. You know how I went and spawned. You felt this power before. You know my skill set. You know how I get down. You know I ain't no joke. You know I ain't none of them other boys. You feel me? Javante Davis and this guy right here, Shakur Stevenson, is gonna be one hell of a fucking fight. It's going to be one hell of a fucking fight. Shakur Stevenson, like I say, about to take on Oscar Valdez in the unification bout. Tough fight. A lot of people just think Shakur going to walk right through Oscar Valdez. I don't. I think it's going to be a good scrap. I think Oscar's going to hold his own. Got to remember, Oscar's an Olympian as well. Um, Oscar know how to go to the body. Oscar got pop. He can pop. He got some power. So Shakur got to be mindful of that. If Shakur get hit with one of them big shots, how do he react and what do he do? Right, but Shakur got that skill set, man. That's just, you know, it's an untouchable skill set almost, bro. But he got to be careful. He got to be careful. Now I got Shakur winning that fight against Oscar um, on the cards, you know. But he got to be careful. But nonetheless, Shakur said he can see him and Javante Tank Davis getting it in down the stretch as one of the biggest fight, if not the biggest fight in boxing, when it goes down and when it pops off. And you know, he said he got himself winning that fight. You know he said he got himself beating this killer right here in Javante Tank Davis. But y'all know Tank confidence don't, 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 don't shy away from nothing. Tank said all the time, ain't no safety on this Glock. <laughs> you hear me? Cock it back and let it slide. You feel me? So Javante Tank Davis ready for anything, all the smoke, anywhere, any place, any time, bro. Anywhere, any place, any time. What y'all don't know is it be Floyd Mayweather that be holding that kid back. It be Floyd Mayweather not put him in there with them big time fighters that he want. That's why Tank get frustrated with Mayweather at times. That's why he get pissed off because Tank heard what's going on. He see what people blogging and talking about and shit like that. And he want to show people that his skills can match up with the best of the best. And he want the best of the best. But it's up to Floyd and Leonard Ellaby to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Tank can only do so much. Now, I know people say he the fighter, he control his own career. But at the same time, them dudes got the power of the pen. And that power of the pen is a mother mother. You feel me? Especially when you're on the contract. Now, Shakur Stevenson, he's up on a Bob Arum. And we know, you know, Bob Arum didn't let him get a couple of fights that he wanted. But now that he's stepping in on with Oscar Valdez in the unification bout at the Super Featherweight Division, we know Tank is at 135 pounds. You know, he got to focus on Oscar Valdez because Oscar Valdez ain't no joke. Like I say, don't be looking too far ahead, Shakur. Don't be looking too far ahead. Handle your business at Super Featherweight first. Make sure you get that man up out of there. Right? You don't have to knock him out, but you got to get him up out of there to where you become the unified champion at the Super Featherweight. And then, like you say, you might want to go for Undisputed at, at Super Featherweight. And then you work your way up to 135. You know what I'm saying? After you cleaned out 130 pounds. Then you go up to 135 and see if you can do the same thing up there because every fighter ain't that good when they moving up in, in, in the weight divisions, bro. Not saying Shakur now, but it's, you know, some fighters slack once they move up in different weight divisions. You know what I'm saying? Some fighters slack. They don't, they don't go up with the same mentality. They don't have the same um, stamina. They don't have the same legs. You know, they slow down. The power ain't there. You know, things kind of shift when, when fighters start moving up in weight. So with Shakur Stevenson, right? 
we look at Shakur as one of the top shotters in the game, right? Like Shakur has the skill set to be the number one pound for pound fighter in the world someday, right? Like he should be on everybody pound for pound list if he go out there and defeat Oscar Valdez and vice versa. If Oscar Valdez defeats Shakur Stevenson, he deserves to be on um, everybody pound for pound list. But nonetheless, right? With Shakur and Javante Tank Davis, which is a hell of a bout, a hell of a bout, bro. You feel me? And, um, you know, Tank's smart inside that square circle. Tank's smart. That's why I say him and Shakur spar, and Tank when we match Shakur that we spar. But Shakur is way more better than that spawn that they had. Shakur is way more better, way more confident. You know what I mean? Talent is blooming right in front of our eyes, bro. Talent is blooming. The way that kid can stay in the middle and not get touched, stay in the pocket and not get touched, swing, curse, swing, nerd, catch, bop, shoot, bop, bop, body shot, move to the side, angles and shit like that. It's a masterpiece, man. It's a masterpiece and it's a sight to see. I say Shakur Stevenson, he can pitch a masterpiece and it's a sight to see when he catch on fire. But Javante Tank Davis has that same skill set to where he can stand right there and not get touched if you want. But the difference is Tank coming with that power behind it. That's the difference. Tank coming with that power behind it. And not saying Shakur don't got no poppy pop, because he did stop Jamel Hearn. But I'm talking about that power that Javante Tank Davis got, go put your ass out cold. You know what I'm saying? It's going to put you out cold. You're going night-night, sleep-sleep, and you'll never be the same after. You know what I'm saying? So when Shakur Stevens is saying him and Tank go get it in down the line, you know, that's a fight to be made, bro. That's a fight to be made, bro. You dig what I'm saying? I like that Shakur Stevenson said that, too. I like that. The thing is, would Floyd work with top rank? Would Shakur Stevenson still be with top rank? Would he get up out of there? Who knows how long it's going to take for this fight to get made? Like I say, Shakur still has to move up. He still has to move up. He's at 130 right now. He can do some great things at 130. How many years left he want to stay at 130? I heard him say at least a year or two. You know what I'm saying? If you want to become undisputed. You know what I mean? Still a young kid, bro. I think she could 25, 24, somewhere around there. So if you want to um, move up in the next two years, you're going to be 27. I think Tank 28 or 27. Yeah, would be 29 going on 30. So, you know, the experience to be there for both of them. The experience to be there for both of them. The money going to be there for both of them, especially if both of them still undefeated. If Javante Tank Davis undefeated when they meet up and Shakur Stevenson undefeated when they meet up, that shit going to be a super fight, bro. That's something you can really market it. You know what I mean? You can market Javante Davis and Shakur Stevenson. That shit going to be fireworks. Fireworks. And not only that, it's going to have people split. People ride with Shakur, people ride with Tank, and the shit going to get hostile. It's going to get hostile, bro. And that's only good for the fight, for their pockets, for the, for the networks. You dig what I mean? Because everybody and their mama going to want to see this fight. I say everybody and their mama is going to want to see this fight. Got a lot of people going to be picking Tank. A lot of people going to be picking Shakur. A lot of people going to say, could Shakur take the power? A lot of people going to say, could Tank trap Shakur Stevens and catch him? Right? Will Shakur's defense show up? Um, is Tank going to be in great shape? Shakur always in great shape. So, you know, that, that's the nature of the beast. That's the nature of the beast. But this is one hell of a fight, man. Um, yes, I want this fight to happen. I want this fight to take place. I want it to transpire. I want Floyd Mayweather to do business with Bob Irm if that's what it come down to. That's what it's going to come down to. If Shakur Stevens is still on the contract with Bob Irm, it's going to come down to Floyd Mayweather and Lena Ellaby putting their fucking pride to the side, you dig me, and making this shit happen for the fans. Because this fight right here is great for boxing. No, 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 no. This fight right here is grand for boxing. You feel me? This is one of them legacy fights. This is one of them fights that we pray for. You dig me? And that motherfucker might be so good we can get a part two. We can get a part two. This is so much skills right here. Javante Davis versus Shakur Stevenson. And I think this should be fight of the year. Fireworks, man. Fireworks. We need this bout. We need this bout. We need this bout. You dig me? So let's see how long Shakur Stevens stay at 130 pounds, y'all. Let's see when he's talking about moving up again, serious about Javante Tank Davis. And let's see if Javante Tank Davis can stay undefeated, stay in great shape, and if he can pull it out at 135 and not go to 140 and 147. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be the fight. I love this fight. Man, when I break this fight down, it can go either way. It can go either way. But that tank power is the, is the, is the main factor. 
that Javante Tank Davis power and the way Tank can set that shit up, it's going to be a beautiful sight to see, bro. A beautiful sight to see. So in the future, let's see how this thing play out, man. Let's hope both of these boys stay undefeated. And let's see if Floyd and, and Bob Earn can come together and do business. Because Shakur won't tank. And Tank won't Shakur. And this going to be one for the ages. Until then, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. And nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate. OG Money on Cash Out. Trey have to fit it to at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.